breaking through, scattered as it was, and definitely more selective about where the heaviest rain has been. Some of us getting no rain today, but at least the cloudiness holding temperatures back. There's a spin of upper level low pressure along the stationary front near the Tennessee Valley. That's helping to generate a little more agitation, if you will, in the atmosphere and allowing these areas of rain to develop. Forecast and focus kind of overdoing the evening coverage of rain for South Georgia. I do think it'll be a lot more spotty, but we can have at least a steady flow of moisture on a light southwest wind pattern and the persistence of that little upper low. And that can help to trigger a couple more areas of rain and thunderstorms. Scattered again, not all day rain, but when it comes down on you, it can be kind of heavy and you can also encounter a quick wind gust with that typical summertime stuff just enhanced a bit by that upper disturbance and that will maintain our moisture flow too we'll see intermittent sunshine especially after you get your dose of rain about 60 percent of us can have rain at some point in time that means 40 percent of us may not have any rain at all so you have to keep that in mind not everybody will get the same kind of weather depending on where you live or where you're going to be working tomorrow the rain total is also quite varied some of us getting little to nothing others getting a quick little dousing of about quarter half an inch downpours embedded that can maybe push local totals upwards of one or even two inches it's not impossible to get those very productive downpours saturday and sunday not so much of that upper low but we'll still have that southwest wind pattern and that high pressure ridge across the Tennessee Valley seems like it's going to be a little bit of a weaker form. So I do think we can see a bit more activity in terms of scattered showers and storms. Not wet for everybody and not wet all weekend, but each afternoon, Saturday and Sunday, there can be at least a few little pockets of rain and thunderstorms and that can get in the way of your afternoon routine. But I wouldn't cancel anything over the typical summertime shower and storm pattern that seems to be trying to take a grip over the next couple days to come. Forecast lows tonight, mid-70s. We get back into the lower 90s, some mid-90s if you get in on broader amounts of sunshine for your Friday to close out your work week. For boaters, southwest to west winds becoming more southerly during the day tomorrow. Wind speeds around 6 to 16 knots and seas 2 to 3 feet. No advisories under those conditions, but watch for a few of those thunderstorms that can also affect marine areas. The extended forecast, mid-90s outside of those occasional areas of rain and storms in the afternoon. Next week, hit or miss variety showers and storms each and every afternoon. Maybe a decrease as we head towards 4th of July. And with decreasing rain coverage, our temperatures may climb right back into the mid and upper 90s.